Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Linda and I'm a product designer from Toronto. So for today's video, I'll be talking about the three different ways to become a UX product designer. Um, of course, go into depth into each one, name the pros and cons, and my thoughts around it as well. Uh, hopefully after this video, it gives you guys a better sense of which route is the best for you and hopefully you guys will get started on your journey. I do mention three different ways for this video, but if there are more that I don't mention, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. But that being said, today's video is sponsored by Springboard. And if you guys haven't heard of Springboard, they're an education platform that prepares you for tech's most in-demand careers with your own personal design expert mentor and a bleeding edge curriculum. So I'll be specifically talking about their UX UI design bootcamp. So stay until the end to hear more and even get an awesome discount code for you guys to use if you guys are interested. So let's get started with the video. So the number one way would be self-teaching yourself and that's the route that I went. So I'll be talking about that first. So what this would entail is right in the title, you're learning on your own through resources that are available to you without any formal instruction or education. So um, these resources would be anything online like Google, YouTube, Medium, etc. Design books, there are like a million out there and online courses. And I know people might think online courses aren't really self-taught, but I'm only saying it in a sense where they would only be self-taught if the course is more theory-based where you're just reading the information, there's no guidance or uh, interaction with a teacher as you would in school, and of course, uh, there's no grading on like projects and stuff like that. In terms of my experience, I won't go too in depth because I do have a video on that. And if you're interested, I'll leave the link in the description box down below. The one thing I will say is that it was a lot of work, dedication, and self-discipline. Now, what are the pros and cons to self-taught learning? And basically, I'll start off with the pros, the good stuff first, obviously. So the first pro is that you don't need to spend all the money. Um, I would say you should spend a little. Um, you can still do it for free if you wanted to, but I think, again, it's all about the self-investment and that type of mindset that you have, but you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on learning design. Second pro is that you get a mindset change. And what I mean by this is that you change your mindset in terms of being more hardworking, uh, self-discipline and sense of you need to learn how to manage your time and you know actually set deadlines and goals for yourself because there are no there's no one there to kind of keep you on the right track. It's only yourself. You become more aware of what you can achieve. So the third pro is something that has worked for me and that is you're able to find and land a job even if you're self-taught. I'm saying this because for those out there who are um, a bit more self-disciplined and know how to guide themselves, uh, this, this might be a great way and you can still land a full-time job with a really decent salary as well. Now let's get into the cons. So the number one con I would say that it can be very time consuming. So it really depends on the person of course and how much time you have to commit to learning something like this. Um, for those that might be in school or have work, might only have a couple hours a day to invest um, time into learning it. For me, I wasn't working or in school so I was all in and it took me around eight months to learn everything and have my portfolio ready as well. So that kind of gives you a sense, again, it depends on the person. The second con is that there's no clear guidance. So I'm saying this in a way where because you're self-teaching yourself, there's no one there to really put you on a right path. Um, there's no like curriculum or set date on when you have to finish things because again, you're working on your own time um, and doing it by yourself. So I would say sometimes it can be very challenging to manage your time and be self-disciplined with yourself because sometimes if no one's pushing you, it's a bit harder to do stuff. Additionally, um, sometimes you might not know if you're doing a certain thing right or wrong because again, you're just going off of what's out there in the world. Um, you might not be getting this information from actual experts or even if you are, you don't know if the way you're applying the knowledge is the correct way. 
The third con is that there's not much opportunity to meet new people. And I say this in a sense again, because you're on your own in this journey, um, of course, like you have people supporting you, but I mean like when you're learning, you're technically on your own. Um, it's a bit harder to network and get yourself out there unless you are actively doing it. That's a different story. But I think a majority of people, it might be a bit harder to go out there and meet those new people. So those are the pros and cons to self-teaching. So the second way would be through university or college. So basically for university and college, you're enrolled in like a two to four program, undergrad, or you might even do masters afterwards. It can vary in terms of like the time and the program itself. But essentially you have the chance to really go in depth into the material itself, um, explore different paths along that realm um, within design, I guess, whether it's interaction design, psychology, computer science, you have those like options and you really get the chance to see if you like it or not and see if this is something that you want to pursue as a career. On top of that, you get to live that uni college life that we all see in movies, which is not really true. So what are the pros and cons to college and university? Number one pro is that there are co-op opportunities and for those who don't know what co-op is it's essentially where within your program um, within the four years you're there a term or semester you dedicate your time to actually working interning at a job essentially because we're in a tech industry it's usually always paid so that way you get a foot in the door and you get the experience to actually know what it, what it's like to work in a real job and this helps you understand if this is something that you want to do or not. And on top of that, if you're really good, it can lead to a full-time position after the co-op internship or even after you graduate. So you have those connections there and those opportunities. So the second pro is that there's a structured curriculum. So like I said earlier in self-taught, you're learning everything by yourself, but when you're in college and university, you have um, those set semesters with those courses that you have to learn, um, the projects that you have to hit for the semester, and everything is essentially laid out for you. You just kind of have to follow it and do well. So in that sense, it's really good for those who need that guidance and that actual structure um, to help them understand if this is what they want to do. And on top of that, you're learning from teachers who are very knowledgeable in the industry. They go in depth into the material and it gives you a chance to really understand the fundamentals and principles of whatever you're learning. Third pro is you get to live that unique college life. And I say this as a pro because I went to university as well, not for design, um, but honestly, I loved my university experience, meeting those new people, my new friends um, that I still talk to now, and just having those really solid memories with you for the rest of your life. So in that sense, that unique college life is definitely worth it. So what are the cons to college and university? The number one is the price. The price tag on university is not cheap at all. Um, it can really vary in price depending on how long the program is. So it can range anywhere from like 20K up to 100K. I believe it really depends on the program and like what school you're going to. So. For those who are like on a budget and don't have that money to spend, which I totally understand, um, this might not be the best route for you. The second con is also time consuming. So I'm saying this in a way where from my own experience, I learned everything under a year and I was able to get like an internship afterwards. So most of these programs are usually like two plus years, especially more if you're doing masters. And I really don't think it's necessary. Again, I'm going back to my own experience and like what has worked for me. Those are the pros and cons to college and university. And the third way is boot camps. I wanted to give an actual like definition on what these boot camps entails, uh, just again because I haven't done one. So I got this definition off of uh, Career Foundry. So it's an immersive education program that takes motivated individuals from beginner to job ready and anything from three months to a year. So basically you're focusing on high impact learning and real world examples and the UX boot camps fuse fundamental UX theory with relevant industry skills to create a comprehensive, well-rounded learning experience. It's basically material that you would learn in university and college, but it's condensed um, into a very packed 
a curriculum that is done in a very short time period. So like they said, anything from three months to a year, um, it's usually less than a year. That's why they are called boot camps and they're a lot more intense. And to add on to that, I would also say it's the hot new way of learning UX UI design today. So what are the pros and cons to boot camps? So for pros, the number one thing is it's the extensive learning in a short time period. And I see this as a pro in the sense that basically it's very structured curriculum where all the information is laid out for you, um, but it's done in less than a year usually. The second pro is you can work on real life projects. And this is a major pro in the sense that um, your portfolio as a designer is very important and to have actual real projects on your portfolio it can be a very good bonus because it shows that you know what it's like to work in a real life setting when you're working with a client. Third pro is that you work with industry leaders. The people who are instructors for these boot camps are actual employees at bigger companies such as like Uber, um, Lyft, Facebook, etc. Those people who have the time to teach others, they will. So you're learning from people who actually know their shit and you're getting valuable information from them. So what are the cons and the number one things that it can be expensive? And I say it can because boot camps can range again from anything from three months to a year. So obviously the shorter time you're committing to a boot camp, the cheaper it is. But it's not that cheap. We can start from around 3K, which I don't think is that cheap either, um, but go all the way up to like 15K. So the second con is that it's very fast paced. Because they're condensing so much information in a short time period, they don't have the option but to go through it very fast with everyone. And sometimes that can be challenging for some people. Um, if you're more of a slower learner, boot camps might not be there best thing for you. The third con is that you might need more education afterwards. So again, going back to my point where it depends how long you're in these boot camps for. So sometimes if you're only in a boot camp for three to five months, I'm not too sure. Maybe in that time frame, you don't learn everything that you wanted to and you're not ready for an actual job. That being said, I know it can be really difficult to find the right boot camp because there are so many out there and that's why I think Springboard can be a great option for you guys. So let me just go through um, the site and what they actually provide within the boot camp. So the um, design boot camp, the UX UI one, is around nine months. So it's on the longer side, which is good. You'll get a very uh, in-depth uh, material to learn from within that time. It's online so you know during COVID you don't have to worry about going anywhere to learn this material. Um, there's live one-on-one -on -one mentorship and mentorship is super important and it's very career focused so um, it helps you land a job and they have a job guarantee which is very bold um, and you know because uh, they prepare students for career in design they actually get matched up with an entire team of support. So a design mentor who is an expert in the field, a student advisor to keep you on track, and even a career coach who will help with the job strategy. So you have someone who supports you from start to finish. Um, you're not left to do everything on your own, which is really nice. Um, additionally to that, each student gets to work on a real client project. So like I said earlier, these client projects are super important for your portfolio. Um, and again, it's just a project that will be one of many um, to build a unique portfolio. And like I said, they do have a job guarantee. So if you don't land a job within the six months of completion, your tuition is on them. So if you think of it, um, basically, if you don't land a job within that six months, you get the whole course the boot camp for free which is amazing um, they're very confident that they will help you succeed and help you land that job after their boot camp itself so with the help of my friends at springboard i was able to get a discount code for you guys if you are interested in taking this boot camp the code is uiux500 i'll leave all the information and details in the description box below you guys can check that out but if you guys enjoyed today's video please give it a thumb up and subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when I post next and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!